everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Tori. And I'm Nathan. And you're watching Tori, Tori and Nathan, Nathan Travel. Travel. And today we are going to talk about how we made three costly mistakes in Iceland and hopefully how you can not make the same mistakes if you're planning a trip to Iceland. If we could do it over, we would do our best not to make these mistakes. Yes. It's just things that we didn't realize uh, ahead of time. It would have been great if someone had told us. So yeah. stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel. We post lots. We have lots of Iceland content if you're planning a trip to Iceland. But we also love to travel, so we post lots of travel tips and hacks and all the good stuff. So we'd love to have you join our community. All right, let's dive in. So the first mistake we made was made at the gas pump. And it wasn't the first time I pumped gas in Iceland, but it was the first time I used one of the options at the gas tank. So if you're not familiar with Icelandic gas pumps, they usually have three or four different options when you're pumping the gas. You can choose from certain amounts of money. That's usually the first three options for certain like 10,000, 20,000, 40,000 krona. And then the last option is usually full. And so what that means is it pumps until the pump cuts off because the gas tank is full. So it's just basically unlimited. So I was pumping gas and I hit the full option because I wanted to get as much gas as we could to get totally full. To start the process, you put your credit or debit card into the pump and uh, let it read your card and then it'll let you start pumping gas. So I've done that, I selected the full option because I want to get a full tank of gas and then I finished pumping, the gas tank was full. I put the nozzle back into the pump. I wait for my receipt. It doesn't print a receipt. I sit around for like another minute, no receipt. I thought about going inside, but I was like, you know what? I don't really care that much. I don't need a receipt. Whatever, we'll just go on our way. So we go on our way. Later that night, we check the bank balance, because I'm looking at all that we spent that day, and there was a charge, a second charge, for $125 made at the same exact gas station. And so I realized later what happened was, it had not finished my transaction because in order to finish the transaction, I had to put my debit or credit card back into the gas pump to receive a receipt and to effectively end the pumping of gas. So because I didn't do that, somebody drove up right behind me, put the gas pump, or the gas nozzle into their car and filled up their tank. And I don't know if they did it on purpose or if it was an accident, because if they did it on accident, there's no way to pay me back. But I kind of have the idea that they must have known because they didn't put their own card in to do it. So basically somebody ripped us off for 125 bucks of gas. Really sad, especially because it costs so much to fill up a gas tank in Iceland. If this happened in America, maybe it would have only been 50 or $60. <laughs> But no, 125 bucks down the drain, just because I didn't realize that I need to put my card back into the pump to receive my receipt. Moral of the story, put your card back in the pump. Make yes. sure you get your receipt. Make don't. sure your gas is completely done. Yeah, don't leave without a receipt. Okay, so the second costly mistake that we made in Iceland was on our, I think our sixth day up in the north northwestern side. It's the called the capital of the north. The town is called Akuri. At least that's how we say it. I think it has about 18,000 people. Yeah, um, so it's a really cute town, pretty decently sized. And so we had stayed there the night before and then we decided we were gonna go get some work done at a coffee shop and get some breakfast in the town of Akuri. So we drove out and we were trying to find a parking spot and we finally found a lot and this was on a Friday. Um, and we looked around for a meter or like a parking toll booth or something to get a parking pass. We couldn't find anything like in the whole parking lot all around. So we're like, well, we'll just risk it. It's probably yeah. fine. <laughs> the art cafe was right across the street. So we walked in the cafe and ate breakfast and worked for about two hours. And then when we came back out, we had a parking ticket. It was completely in Icelandic couldn't read it at all, had no clue what it said or how much it was charging, but um, we ended up finding out later that it was a parking ticket for $25 because you didn't have a parking pass. And the way you get a parking pass is to go into a local bank or gas station um, and get one that way and put it in your windshield, but how are we supposed to know that? Yeah. We didn't know that. <laughs> so yeah, but that wasn't too expensive, it was $25, but still something that could have been prevented if we had just known. It's a little bit frustrating. Yeah. $25 is a lot to pay to park for two hours. Yes. No matter where you are in the world. <laughs> so mistake number three was the most expensive of the mistakes. And unfortunately it came the same day that we got the parking ticket. So that was a bad day <laughs> as far as money. So we're driving south from Akuri. We're heading down the west side of Iceland. 
to head back towards the capital of Reykjavik. And, you know, we had to drive like four or five hours that day. So I was, you know, I was trying to make some pretty good time. I'll admit I was speeding, you know, okay. It was 90 kilometers per hour was the speed limit. I was going around between 100 and 110, just trying to make some good time. You gotta understand, these are super flat roads. You can see for miles, there's no other cars. Well, you know, why shouldn't you just speed a little bit? Literally no car? other cars, like the yeah. west side of Iceland. There's nobody like there. Like the least populous side. So we're just driving, and I will go ahead and say, there's, there are a lot of speed cameras around Iceland because it's so lowly. Um, there's not very many policemen, so they put right. cameras everywhere yeah. to try to capture people. But we got pretty good at like yeah. knowing when those were coming up. You can pretty much see them from poles. the distance. <laughs> yeah, poles sticking up out of the ground with like a big camera on top because there's not a lot of scenery, so they can't really hide them. So we, we avoided all of those just fine. But then we're coming down this road and off in the distance I'm starting to see, yeah, there's a car coming from the other way. Before we can even get close enough to tell what it is, boom, blue lights. He pops the lights on us. And as we meet him, you know, we're driving closer. He's, he like he gestures towards me, you know, pull over. And I'm like, ah, oh, great. And I'm just thinking, man, like, what are the odds? Like, this was the second police officer we had seen in the entire country. We'd seen <laughs> one in the airport when we landed six days ago. Hadn't seen one since. So I'm thinking, you know, what are the odds that we meet this guy going down this lonely stretch of road, nowhere near any towns, but sure enough, he got us, booked me going at like 108, and it was an interesting experience too, because when he walked into the window, he told me, he's like, you know, you were speeding. I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess I was. And he's like, come back and sit in the squad car. And so apparently that's the protocol in Iceland. When you get a ticket, you have to go sit in the back of the police car. So I was sitting back there. I was scared to death. I was like, am I about to get arrested? It's just the way they do it. And yeah. we actually documented it in our blog. So yeah, so go watch the link right here. day six vlog. <laughs> so it wasn't actually that bad as far as I, I was not in serious trouble. It did go on my permanent record the, if you pay that day. So he's telling me, he's like, you know, if you pay it today, which is basically the only option he gave me, then it won't go on your record. And I asked him, okay, how much is this gonna be? And he was still doing the paperwork, so he kind of just smiled and said, it's very expensive to speed in Iceland. And I was just like, oh no. And sure enough, by the time he finished the paperwork, it was $350. <laughs> now, I've not received a speeding ticket in the US before, but I don't think they're usually that expensive. And he only- No, no they are never that expensive. If you go really fast. Okay, but, we are going like eight miles over. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> going 15 kilometers over the speed limit is not that fast compared to miles. So that was super frustrating and that was $350. After that, I did not speed a single bit in Iceland. I minded my road manners very well, but it was too late. So I'll total up those three costly mistakes. Cost us about $500. So that was not fun. If we had known, we would have saved ourselves $500, which would have been great. So now you know, and we hope we can save you $500 by watching this video. Yeah, Iceland isn't expensive enough of a country without having to waste $500 on silly mistakes that could be avoided. Yeah, so when traveling anywhere, you can run into things like this that may cost you more money or you know just put dampers on your day because you spent more than your budget you were foreseeing or things like yeah. that things just don't always go as planned but we really just tried to embrace it and like recognize that okay we're still only going to be in iceland once like sure this sad thing happened on that end of our trip but like not letting it ruin our trip or ruined ice and forest or letting it put a divide between us or like making it right. making us fight about it because ultimately like we can't go back and fix it just uh still trying to have a good attitude and not being afraid to travel or you know visit or recommend places because we had a not so fun experience i think is really important yeah all right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're in the middle of planning your trip to Iceland, then you should definitely check out our Iceland series playlist because we got lots of videos about our trip in there. We had a great time. Um, so be sure to check that out and subscribe. And let us know in the comments if you're planning a trip. Yeah. Let you know. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.